Okay, welcome to another edition of Real Estate Investor Talk, and I'm sitting here at Liu Kopi. Um, it's a Kuzna estate, and I'm sitting alongside the, the Sun King himself, uh, Sol Kuzna, and his wonderful daughter, Andrea Kuzna. First of all, we're here for a iconic launch of Liu Kopi estate, but I think before we get there, I'd just like you to, to share a little bit about how it all started. I mean, I know it was the Beverly Hills Hotel, then it was oh. Sun City, <laughs> and then it was Mauritius and Bahamas. Just, just give yeah, us a yeah, picture. Yeah, you, you, you got the full picture. <laughs> started with the Beverly Hills, which opened in 64. Uh, in the, in the Rocks, which at that time was really a fishing village. And it was quite controversial, but fortunately it turned out to be good. And from there, I started on the Elongani was the second hotel, which was a much bigger unit. And then uh, I teamed up with SAP in '69, and then we never stopped building. <laughs> and then the iconic Sun City. Sun City uh, opened the first phase opened December '79, and we was hugely successful. Uh, much bigger success than even I anticipated. So we, within six months, we were building the cabanas, and the next thing we were building uh, the third phase, which uh, included the Super, Dome, the Super Bowl, uh, which opened with Sinatra and, and many more with superstars. And finally, the last stage was the Palace of the Lost Zone and the whole city development and the water park. And, and then you started looking offshore because obviously oh, yeah. something attracted, attracted you there. Yep, I just felt the need to sort of look for a, another challenge. And uh, with that, we acquired uh, the Paradise Island Resort in the Bahamas where we built Atlantis. And then also uh, continued uh, with the one and only. So you've left an indelible mark on certainly on the resort industry, and yeah. we're here today now. And, and this is your kind of hustle, isn't it? I mean, this is your your property so, uh, that you've been living. It's your home. Yep. Um, and it's new copy. It's beautiful. I remember coming here about 30 years ago to one of those iconic parties. Mango groove in the background. Mm -hmm. And now you're letting go, so tell us a little bit. And we've got no, Andrea, not, maybe Andrea wants to share we, We're not letting go at all. Not letting all go. we're doing is we're taking a small part of the estate. Right. Uh, and this is probably because having sold out of the business, right. uh, I know how it's time on my hands. Right. Andy's always been interested in real estate development, right. so he thought it may be an idea to do something relatively small here at your copy. Right. Just such a beautiful piece of real estate, and uh, I think what we're launching today is really going to be, I think, one of the most spectacular uh, housing developments. Mm -hmm. And I'm very happy that Andy sort of fully involved with me in this and has taken the lead in working with the architects, outstanding uh, architects, all South Africans. And I, they're coming up, and have come up with the uh, most interesting designs. And I think we're going to have a really iconic uh, Fantastic. Uh, development. So, Andrew, you, you're driving this entire yes, project. I am. Tell us a little bit about where it all started, where you got to okay, now. I mean, today's the big launch, so yeah, it's really it exciting. started that we were going to sell lots, and then we got together as a family and decided this is. He's our neighbours, it's right on our doorstep. And we wanted to have neighbours who enjoy the same sense of beauty that we do, the same quality of the construction. Right. So we decided to rather build a housing estate, but to make it different. Most housing estates that, you know, it's one architect, all the houses look the same. With my father always doing a market luxury end yes. of hotels and resorts, we wanted to do something that was really unique. So we right. interviewed some of the top architects in South Africa. We chose seven of them. Six of them are in the first phase where we launch an eight today. Each house has been completely designed with every bit of input from our father from you know, moving a wall a hundred millimeters, literally, 
Um, it took us a year to design eight houses with you know, a lot of focus. Working with architects has been amazing, really amazing. They've collaborated with the top architects and they've actually collaborated so they're not leaving anyone's view. Um, the second thing we really wanted to do was create something that was sustainable. Given what's happening with climate change in the world today, you've got a thunderstorm in Cape Town today. Yeah, can you believe it? You know, last night a thunderstorm, no water. We need the rain. <laughs> we need rain. Um, yes. But it's unusual, you know, yes. the world shifting. So yeah. we want to create um, a development that not only was beautiful to look at, house to enjoy, but that was environmentally friendly. So we have um, rainwater systems put in, we have grey water systems, we have the ability to put solar energy into it. The materials the architects are using are sustainable. Um, we bring back the famous and the native vegetation to the, to the um, estate, as opposed to the vegetation that was there before. So all in all, we think it's going to be very interesting. The third thing that makes a point of difference is following um, to what they do in the States, um, in big developments where you have communal gyms, you have hospitality services. So if you're not living there full time, you can call ahead to somebody and say, fill up my fridge or I need a caterer tonight. And that will be done, the tenants will be able to contract directly with our personal hospitality to arrange all services such as that. So I think it makes it a very unique offering. So we've got 48 lots, 1,250 square meters. Um, up to about 1,500 square up meters. Up to 1,500 square meters. And the housing range from about 350 square meters to about 700 square meters. So would you actually imagine this actually happening? Was this in your longer term plans or is it just something no, that just... something. Never ever thought of doing this. And I think possibly it's having sold up and not being involved. And something I think we'll enjoy doing together. Yeah, and right. Base become, you know, this is our one home that we all come to as a family. My siblings, right. my dad, and myself. Right. I've been involved in this community at Park Bay for eight years now. I founded a non profit in 2010 called Leather, which is in Park Bay working with Tony Chesbeans and we have to. And Hungerberg, and part of what we do with the development is the construction crew. They have to employ some unemployed people in those communities, upskill them, train them to work in the development so that they can work way up the years with real skills to find new employment. So, so I think uh, just in, in closing, I think everything you seem to touch turns to gold. So I think hopefully you can see this estate being a great success. And uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank very you. Good. And nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.